make a larger pizza taste the same. So I'm going to give you a minute to jot down your ideas, then I'm going to draw a stick, and you're going to get to type your answer into the box. So why or how can the student council make a larger pizza taste the same as the original pizza? <laughs> so you can type your thoughts in here. Just here, let me help you out. You can type right into that box. It'll go right in that box. Okay. okay? So again, <laughs> everybody else is finishing up their thoughts and then reading what Chase types in to see if it matches or if it's similar. And then you can ignore the one that pops up. Focus too much on spelling. E N, you did E N T S. All right. So good. So by doubling the ingredients or the toppings, how does that keep the pizza tasting the same? Why is that going to make the pizza taste the same? Because they're still basically the same amount, the same ratio. Of Perfect. It's the same ratio of ingredients or toppings on the pizza. Perfect. Good, Chase. Anybody want to add anything to that or agree or disagree in any way? Okay, if you don't have something similar to that, please get that on your paper. It would probably be also be a good idea to get something in there about the ratio of toppings staying the same. Okay? Let's look at 1B now. 1B says the new pizza has twice the amount of room for toppings. How many mushrooms and how many jalapenos should the new pizza have? Where's my 13? All right. You get the number of mushrooms. Okay? And who is 17? All right, when you're done, Christian, if you would pass it over to Abby, she gets to take in the new number of jalapenos. You just the, you click in the mushroom box. And the word mushrooms may go away, that's okay. You click. Yeah, just, there you go. Just like that. Okay. Actually, let's do this. There. How many mushrooms did we start with? 12. Oh, no. Not mushrooms. 20. All right, pass it over. Thank you. Pass it over to Abby, please. Would you guys help pass that across? Good. So we started, we had the ratio of 12 jalapenos to 20 mushrooms. When we double it, now we have 20. And Notice that we've been talking about the ratio of jalapenos to mushrooms, but this question asks for the mushrooms first. So again, we've got to pay attention very carefully to what the question asks. Good. Do we all agree? Yes. 40 mushrooms and 24 jalapenos. Excellent. All right. Next question. 1C. Why do we say the pizza tastes the same? Why do we say the pizza tastes the same? And what's important here is using the terminology, okay? What terminology should we be using? What vocabulary terms should we be using in our answer to this, Kayla? Ratio. Ratio in some way. Maybe that we're changing the, the amount of toppings using what? They're what? The change is what? What did we talk about at the beginning of class? They're multiplying. We are, but what kind of change is that? What did we talk about at the very beginning? The very first thing we talked about when the change, if the relationship stays the same, what was that word we used? Again with a P? Oh, for proportion. Once you 
A proportional change. Good. Good. Go ahead and write your answer in. And I'm looking for Connie. And then you can finish writing yours, sweetie. So why do the pizzas taste, why do we say the pizzas taste the same? What may be different, what may be the same about each of those pizzas? So when you say because you are only doubling the ratio, what do you mean by that? Can you be a little bit more specific? Um, because you're only doubling the amount of mushrooms and cream. Okay, and why are we doubling them? So then you can increase the amount of the pizza. Okay, because what do we do with the size of the pizza? Much larger. Two times larger. Okay, so we doubled the size of the pizza, so we doubled the ratio, so we could double the toppings, right? Good. Okay. So let's look at this for a second. We started with the 